El Salvador, discover the hidden gem of the Mayan world. El Salvador, the smallest country in Central America, is perfect for clients interested in undiscovered black sand beaches, world-class surfing, vibrant nightlife, history and culture, and rare and vibrant botanicals. Recent efforts to emphasize tourism created a wealth of opportunities for travelers interested in exploring this beautiful country. El Salvador traditions include ancestral customs from pre-Hispanic cultures merged with Spanish customs. Salvadorian folklore is expressed in handicrafts such as pottery, ceramics, cordage, basketry, clay, toys, and fireworks. Festivals including the famous San Miguel Carnival, San Salvador's August celebrations, and Santa Ana's July celebrations are always filled with traditional music, dance, and regional cuisine. El Salvador is located on the southwest region of Central America along the Pacific Ocean coast. It is the only country in the region that has no coastline in the Atlantic Ocean. El Salvador borders with Honduras to the north and northeast, with Guatemala to the west, with the Pacific Ocean to the south, and with the Gulf of Fonseca to the east, which separates it from Nicaragua. El Salvador is a democratic republic. The president holds office for five years and cannot be re-elected. Spanish is the official language, and English is spoken in nearly all tourist areas. El Salvador is the most densely populated country in Latin America, with about 6.9 million residents grouped into three ethnic groups. People of European descent, the mestizos, a mixture of European descent with indigenous and indigenous Salvadorians. El Salvador has a tropical climate with small variations in temperature. The rain determines its two seasons dry season, which is from November to April, and the rainy season, which is from May to October. The average temperature ranges from 19 to 29 degrees Celsius. The Immigration Department requires U.S. citizens to present a tourist card, which is available for $10 and can be purchased at the point of entry. Validity normally extends for 90 days. Major U.S. airlines connect to El Salvador with daily flights from Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, Miami, Houston, and Dallas to San Salvador. San Salvador boasts the safest airport in the region with a modern terminal with 17 positions for aircrafts and plans to expand. El Salvador offers visitors more than 300 kilometers of beautiful beaches, including two of the world's best surfing, Sun Zal and La Paz. El Sonte, La Perla, and Punta Mango also attract avid surfers. Travelers also enjoy more than 45 warm water beaches, some with black volcanic sand. In the country's three mangrove areas, Barra de Santiago Estuary, Haltepeque Estuary, and Hinkilisco Bay, visitors enjoy water skiing, swimming, boating, kayaking, snorkeling, fishing, and marine wildlife watching. Impressive archaeological sites, colorful colonial villages, celebrated traditions, delicious cuisine, and beautiful crafts reflect the vast culture and heritage of El Salvador. Visitors connect with the ancient Maya by visiting archaeological sites such as Tazumal, San Andres, and Hoya de Seren. The impact of the colonial period is evident in the romantic cobbled streets and beautiful balconies of Aguachapan and Suchitoto. In the eastern part of the country, Alegría, Conchagua, San Miguel, and Guatajiaga typify the charm and authenticity of this unique destination. El Salvador contains a stunning diversity of natural resources and nature preserves that delight visitors dedicated to leaving nothing but footprints behind. For adventure lovers seeking authentic and unforgettable experiences, El Salvador offers a wide range of choices 
including hiking in national parks, surfing, culinary workshops, sea turtle conservation activities, artisanal fishing, bird watching, paragliding, craft workshops, camping, boat tours, volcano climbing, and kayak and rafting tours. El Salvador is a fascinating country with multiple natural and cultural attractions. Its indigenous name, Cuscatlan, means land of jewels, which is precisely what visitors find there. The tourist routes have been designed so visitors can experience the impressive places, culture, and people firsthand. The main routes feature volcanoes, charming towns and villages, beaches, archaeological sites, mountains, artisan sites, and more. Visitors experience each route on their own or by arranging an organized tour. One of the many routes that visitors can experience is the Flowers Route. This beautiful journey takes visitors through the impressive Abaneca Yamatepec mountain range visiting traditional towns such as Nahuizalco, Salcuatitan, Huayua, which is known as the city of food festivals, Apanseca, which boasts coffee forests and lagoons, Concepcion de Ataco, which is a beautiful city with cobblestone roads and warm climate, and Ahuachapan, a charming city rich with history, traditions, coffee plantations, and the natural wonders of geysers and a beautiful lagoon. The Nahuatl route takes tourists through the history and traditions of El Salvador by visiting small towns such as Huiznahuat, Nahuizalco, San Antonio del Monte, and Santo Domingo de Guzman, where hard-working artisans maintain trade and culture from the 15th and 16th centuries. Locals offer travelers friendship and hospitality and invite them to join traditional festivals they have celebrated for many generations. On the sun and beach route, your clients will cover 186 miles of amazing beaches, warm waters, and rocky reefs perfect for swimming, scuba diving, snorkeling, surfing, and other water activities. This route includes two of the best surfing spots in the world. El Sunsal and Punta Roca. Along this highly popular trail, visitors find an array of hotels, eco lodges, marinas, restaurants, and viewing decks with convenient access. On the archaeological route, visitors bear witness to one of the most influential cultures at key archaeological sites of the Mayan world, such as Hoya de Seren, known as the Pompeii of America and declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1993. Stops, including Chihuatan, Tasumal, and Casablanca, offer historic structures museums, and trails under local guidance that highlight facts and insights into these ancestral locations. El Boquerón route is located atop the El Salvador and La Libertad volcanic range, 35 minutes from the capital city. Hikes along this route allow nature lovers to view Lake Yopango, Izalco, Santa Ana, Cerro Verde, and the city of San Salvador from a unique perspective. The green areas host a diverse range of plant life and exotic flowers. During the artisan route, tourists visit small towns dedicated to the craftsmanship of objects made from wood, clay, natural fibers, and recycled materials. Workshops give visitors the opportunity to become hands-on in the process of creating keepsakes. Citala La Palma, 
San Ignacio, Ilo Vasco, San Sebastián, Suchitoto, and other towns along this route also offer a mix of entertainment, natural beauty, history, and an array of small mountain hotels and restaurants providing a unique experience. The coffee route provides visitors with a wide range of opportunities to experience El Salvador's coffee culture about one hour from the capital city in Portezuelo Park and Lake Guatepeque. Here, visitors learn about the process from plant to cup, the proper methods of growing coffee, harvesting, sorting, drying, roasting, and the delicate process the fruit goes through before it can be brewed into the iconic beverage. The peace route follows the sites of armed conflict in El Salvador, combat zones of the 1980s Civil War, and museums and monuments honoring brave citizens who fought and died. El Rosario, Perquín, Arambala, Jocuatique, and Manguera offer insights into the turbulent history of this country, as well as areas dedicated to lasting peace. On the blessed Oscar Romero City Tour, Monsignor Romero and his historical legacy captivates visitors who are invited to learn about his work, life, and martyrdom. The tour includes a trip through 10 locations in and around the capital, including the crypt in the historic Cathedral of San Salvador. The subaquatic archaeological tour is located deep in the waters of the Pacific, where sunken shipwrecks create artificial reefs and places of refuge, feeding and breeding grounds for abundant underwater life. El Salvador has created a model for the protection and conservation of these systems that is admired throughout the world. The first phase of this ambitious plan offers structures at Playa Los Cobanos Playa San Blas in La Libertad and in the beaches of San Juan, Jiquilisco. Next, we will look at a three-day itinerary. Treat your clients to the best adventures on land and water in El Salvador, including zip lining over the coffee plantations, cloud forest and waterfalls, a surf lesson, and a hike or bike tour to the Green Lagoon. Accommodations available at quaint standard hotels with local breakfast included. Day 1. Your clients will spend the day at the canopy of Apaneca, flying through the skies over coffee plantations. Then, in the afternoon, they will hike to the awe-inspiring waterfalls of Chorros de Calera and spend the evening in the mountain town of Ataco, known for its traditional market, colorful murals, and rich textiles. Day 2. Your client's action-packed day will start at Portozuelo Park with a hike through the coffee farms. Later, they can choose to climb 5,000 feet up Cerro Cuyanuanzul into a thick cloud forest to ride horseback through the cloud forest to its peak or start at the top and take a mountain bike ride down. At the end of the day, your clients will be driven to the coast and their chosen accommodations. Day 3. Your clients will spend the day in the capable hands of a professional surf instructor learning to ride some of the best waves in the world. There are more than 10,000 hotel rooms within the country, offering visitors a wide variety of options from budget to luxury. Accommodation options in the major cities vary from local independent hotels to international brands such as Hilton, Sheraton, Holiday Inn, Crown Plaza, and Intercontinental, while the smaller cities offer independent options including hostels, bed and breakfasts, historic properties, and luxury boutique accommodations. As a U.S. representative for the El Salvador Ministry of Tourism, 